Hey, how's it going? So, um, a couple days ago, I put in to get an electric violin, and through a lot of thinking about it, I finally decided to get it. So, it's pretty cool. It's a five-string electric, and... Here it is. It's got your normal E string, you've got your A string, your D string, your G string, and a C string, which is also a perfect fifth above your uh, G string, or below actually. So it's pretty cool. You can stick your hand through these parts. It's just kind of for decoration and for reference point when you're playing, so your hand still hits the rim when you're getting into higher positions. And so you've got your fine tuners, just like a normal acoustic. Um, on the side you've got some various knobs, I'll need to turn this up a bit, you've got one for headphones, <clears throat> you've got one for like, say you wanted to practice playing with a song and you had it on your iPod, you could input it and then it would come out the same source through your one fourth, and you can even put some reverb which supposedly makes it sound like it's kind of in like a cave. You know how it kind of echoes a bit, but not but not quite. Kind of like in a uh, concert hall. And at the tip, you got your uh, five tuning pegs. And the width is the same width as a normal four-string violin, except it has five strings on it, so the strings are a lot closer together. Uh, the bridge is the same bridge as you would have for a normal four-string. Um, it's not quite curvy enough. So I may have to shave down this part a bit, because <clears throat> when I'm trying to play notes on the G string, um, it's really hard to play that one string. So I'll be doing that, and I might want to lower the action a bit, because the action's too high. And uh, there's there's Jonathan Browning. He is. He's my roommate. He likes to do dishes. And so that's that. So. It also came with like a cable that I can plug in and stuff. And the the cable, the, it's it's just a cable, but I like this cable in particular because it's got a forty a ninety degree turn on it, and that way the cable doesn't kind of pull so much on you when you're playing. And I have to say, kind of a, a ten watt amp. It's nothing special, but it gets the job done. And uh, what's kind of cool is that the amp can do distortion as well. Oh, that's kind of it's kind of crappy, but it it gets the idea. Yeah. And we got normal bow. I was gonna get a bow just for this one, but I decided against it for some reason. But I think I'm going to next time I go back to Jan's. He's the Luther here in Gainesville. I think I'll get a bow. That way I don't have to keep on transferring bows, because now I have one bow for two violins. Um, I also bought a new shoulder rest for my uh, acoustic violin, and so this is my backup one. I, I bent it a bit, so it's a bit fits my shoulder better. And so I use this one for my electric, because it's actually a bit wider from here to here uh, than it is on my other one. So now I'm just going to put this on here. Dang it. Alright, this chord's in the way. It's a lovely sound. Hooray, got it. That's better. Okay. I'd like to play a, a song or two on it. Um, I'm still getting used to it. it. It's a bit harder to play. It requires more skill with the bow. Um, so I'm going to play, to warm up, a part of Canon in D. And <clears throat> hopefully you can kind of see me. I'm going to check the camera here for a sec. Yeah, you can see. Burp. So, yeah, hope you like it.
Not for a part you might recognize. It kind of trails off there. Uh, I'm still learning it, so that's kind of that part. Um, so that's a work in progress. Hopefully, soon I'll be able to play the whole song well. Alright. And I'll play one more little thing for you. Uh, this piece is called Lobby and Rose, and it's a really beautiful song. Um, I'm playing um, in an ensemble, and I actually play the harmony of this, like second violin, but I'm going to play the first violin for you because the second violin doesn't sound like anything about the first violin. So yeah. Maybe I can even play both parts and like stitch the audios together and you can kind of hear it. But that might be a bit out of my skill range. There we go. kind of repeats from there. And so if you're interested, this is the part that I'll be playing. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's kind of like a solo beginning. Hope you like it.